Nuclear experts have struggled for more than a year to understand the exact cause of the meltdowns and explosions at the Fukushima plant. They expected an investigation by the facility's operator would provide some answers. Tokyo Electric Power Company released the final report of its investigation earlier this month. Investigators conducted interviews with about 600 TEPCO employees, held on-site inspections, and analyzed other data. TEPCO officials admit in the report that they failed to adequately prepare for a nuclear emergency. They also say the company's management of the plant's emergency cooling system was inadequate. But they defend themselves by pointing out the extreme difficulty of responding to the crisis. NHK World's Hidehiro Hanada has been closely following the story ever since the accident at Fukushima Daiichi and has more details on TEPCO's report. Hidehiro, TEPCO's investigation were expected to reveal the facts behind what caused the accident. Did the report clear things up? Hi. My frank impression is that important issues of the nuclear accident are yet to be clarified. That includes the path where the massive amount of nuclear substances were discharged that forced many residents to evacuate, and the impact of the earthquake itself remains unclear. It is estimated that the reason why high level of radiation prevailed in Itate village and other places northwest of the plant was because the massive amount of radioactive materials was released from the containment vessel of the number two reactor on March 15 last year. That was because the pressure inside the containment vessel rapidly plunged. But specific cause and path of the discharge are not known, although more than a year has passed. And it's not 100 percent clear whether the cooling systems and piping that are critical to safety were really unharmed by the quake. TEPCO's former vice president who chaired the utilities investigative panel, Masao Yamazaki, had this to say. We have performed all investigations possible so far. So TEPCO's report didn't live up to its expectations. Have any other investigation provided more reliable information? Those also have problems. Aside of the TEPCO's investigation, there are panels set up by the government and Diet, as well as private initiative investigating the accident independently. They are looking into how plant operators and Prime Minister's office dealt with the accident. But they haven't examined the cause of the accident and how the meltdown took place. That is because Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is still exposed to a high level of radiation. People cannot even go near some places. That's why it is only TEPCO that was able to conduct on-site investigation that is necessary to identify the cause. The reality is that proving the cause of the accident is delegated to the operators themselves. But since the central player of the accident is conducting the investigation, objectivity and fairness of the final report are being questioned. We can't brush away a sense of mistrust that the utility is only releasing favorable data. An expert had this to I'm very doubtful this report studies the accident in any real sense. There needs to be a more independent analysis to pinpoint problems that need to be addressed and where changes should be made. The cause of the accident and lessons to be learned from this are attracting worldwide attention and must not be buried away. TEPCO should of course continue thorough investigation and verification, but a mechanism is needed to secure objectivity and fairness. The results should be compared with a third-party investigation and truly elucidate the cause to improve safety measures. Hidehiro, thank you. That was Hidehiro Hanada for today's Nuclear Watch.